All right, Michelle, I'm, I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can achieve the bouncing ball karaoke effect or emphasizing certain words for reading aloud in class or whatever. Uh, okay, here's the first way. Uh, so it's, it's, it's an animation effect where you make a ball follow a path and you just draw the path with your mouse and, and you make the ball follow the path. And you can adjust the timing and everything a little bit um, to try and make it uh, fit the way you want it to, uh, to fit. Uh, although that was a bit of a challenge. So I'll, I'll just hit play here once upon a time or something like that. And again, you can draw your own path with the mouse um, and adjust the timing a little bit. Um, I'll show you how to do this just from scratch. So let's go over here and we'll go to uh, let's duplicate the slide here. Just hold on a bit. Uh, let's duplicate the slide. So I don't have to type the words out again. So I'm going to delete the animation. Okay, here's all I did. I just insert uh, a shape, just an oval, and bring it down. Uh, you can go up and uh, format the shape and do some cool stuff. You can put a reflection on it or something. Cool. So there it is. So now I'm just going to go over to animation. Here, and it brings up the animation bar. Uh, I'm going to add animation. You go down to motion paths, you can do all kinds of different things, and one of the things you can do is a custom path. So now, it gives me a little cross eyes there, so I'm just going to once upon, I guess, a uh, time. Uh, okay, it's not so good, and then I click again, I double click to finish drawing it. Oh, now, you know that that's way too fast, right? But you come over here to the animation pane, and you go to timing. And if you adjust the duration to make three seconds or, or something like that, and then you change the timing of it, or uh, it doesn't have to just be the ones that they offer you, you can actually just type in four seconds. And so you can adjust it to kind of get you <coughs> get it to, to do what you want it to do, right? Um, and so you can create the sort of bouncing ball effect that way. And you can also grab it with your mouse. And try and get things to line up a little better, and things like that. So with a little bit of practice, like I was just doing this for like a few minutes, just trying to get the, the basic feel of it, but with a little bit of practice, if you were doing a whole slideshow, I bet you would probably get pretty good at it uh, after a while, and then it wouldn't be so difficult. Um, so that's one way you can do it. Uh, here's another way. I'll go to another slide. Uh, I'll hit play, and I'll show you. We're going to emphasize the words. And you'll see that uh, it, it reads it off. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Olivia. So we can play, there was a girl named Olivia. So the problem I, I faced when I was trying to create this was <clears throat> uh, what animation with, with uh, PowerPoint. Uh, it, it doesn't allow you to type the whole sentence and distinguish different words within the sentence with different animations. So basically what I had to do was I created a, a separate text box for every word, and then I just I just went in and uh, you know clicked on the thing, went to animation, added the animation on the word, you know, and I, in this case the animation I used the pulse animation or whatever you did, whatever you wanted, right? Um, so I'll show you. I'll, we'll, we'll we'll do it again with a duplicate slide. So, or maybe uh, the better thing to do would be uh, to do it from a blank slide so you know exactly what to do here. So if I just go to a new slide, um, I like to get rid of all this junk. So I'm going to blank slide, okay, and then I'm going to just insert a text box. Yeah, and that's going to be hello. Right. And here's a trick. If you do the animation right at the beginning, it's going to be really, really helpful. But first, I'm just going to sort of make this uh, a little bit bigger. Bigger. 30. Um, so, all right, so there we go. And now I'm going to go to animation. Let me select that. Go to animation. Add the animation. This time we'll do a, uh, I don't know, no, that's, ooh, that's a nice slow one. Um, let's do the color pulse anyway. We'll do that one, right? 
So you'll see over on my animation pane, when you get to the animation pane, you turn it on and off, right? Up from the animation menu. Um, so preview it, and you see that the word flashes. Uh, that's great, right? So what you can do now, instead of, uh, now you can just go in here and uh, copy the word, right? And then when you paste the word, you'll notice that it pastes animation too. So what you can just go over there very quickly. Here's a second word, I'm going to paste again, look, it adds word number three. It, it also says hello right now because I haven't changed them. Right, but, so now I can go to this word, change it for this one. You know, and I can, I can move them around and get them all lined up, but I'm going very, very quickly just to show you. Do, 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 do. Like that. And I'm just Control A, select all, and then type it over it. That makes it go quickly for me. Do, 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 do. Uh, So anyway, we hit play. So it was a brand new day. So it was a new brand day. Uh, I got them backwards, but look, I can just let them go up here and put them in the right order. So it was a brand new day. And you can adjust the timing. And so the idea would be to, when you're creating the first one, you adjust the timing perfect to get it going the exact speed that you want it to go. And then when you're copying it all, all the settings are copied over. So hello, it was a brand new day. Now, of course, to speed up things even further, once you've created one slide like this, you can just duplicate the whole slide and then come in here and then just change the words. And that, that. So you can duplicate the whole slide you created once, working perfectly, and then uh, you can just come in and add, you know, replace the words with what you wanted to say. So the whole process can go pretty quickly. So um, those are a couple different ways. Uh, that you can get that, that little of sort of effect that you're looking for using uh, PowerPoint animations. I uh, hope that helps. Uh, talk to you later.